Tennel Sports Center will be going over five reasons why the Alabama Crimson Tide will go on to beating Florida and winning yet another SEC championship game here on Saturday. And this is a team that's been extremely dominant all season long. There's no doubt about that. I mean, they've blown out pretty much every opponent that they've played and they've got some massive momentum heading into this matchup. We're going to be going over five reasons why Alabama will win this matchup here today. And these reasons will be in no particular order. That being said, we're going to be looking at your number one reason, which is going to be Mac Jones, which is easily, I mean, he's easily one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Like, Mac Jones has put up some insane stats this season. Currently leads the SEC in completion percentage, passing efficiency, and average yards per attempt as well, as he's got 3,300 yards on the season with 27 touchdowns and three interceptions. And he's got a 76% completion rate, which is absolutely insane out of a quarterback. I mean, most quarterbacks can't even really hope to even hit, like, 70%, let alone Mac Jones is on his way to 80 percent so this is a quarterback that's been extremely accurate all season long he's really not missed a lot of passes and this is a this is a player that i mean yeah you got to really watch out for if you're um the florida defense here because once again this quarterback is very very accurate he's got a great touchdown interception ratio so he rarely throws turnovers and that's also a big reason why alabama has been so dominant this season is they just do not, I mean, they rarely commit turnovers, and that's the reason why Alabama, once again, is so dominant, is because, I mean, they they just play very well with holding onto the ball, and especially Mac Jones does a great job with that. And this is a quarterback that still has got some major upside, in my opinion. I mean, if you look at Mac Jones, he's only been playing for a season. Like, it's almost been a year since he was put into the game against Tua because Tua got injured. And ever since then, Mac Jones has just improved every single week. I mean, this is a player that's already improved a ton over the 2020 season. I mean, if you compare him from the beginning of the season to now, he is, uh, he's extremely, he's a very, very good player. And this is a, this is also a quarterback that I definitely say is a top three quarterback in the nation as well. I mean, you've got him, probably Kyle Trask, and then you also got Trevor Lawrence up at the top right now. And Mac Jones is easily up there right now. I think Mac Jones is easily one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Number two reason is going to be the momentum on the Alabama side. This team is 10-0 right now, and they've blown out pretty much every point that they've played by a significant margin. I mean, they've they played a couple of teams up to 14 points, but I mean, Alabama has absolutely blown out pretty much every point that they've played, and they've only held most opponents to under 10, 10 points as well. I mean, if you look at last week even, I mean, this team blew out Arkansas 52-3, which, I mean, Arkansas being a team that is pretty improved this season. That was a very impressive win there for Alabama. And that's not the only win that this team has had that's extremely impressive. I mean, they absolutely destroyed LSU the week before that, 55-17. to And who did LSU beat this past week? Yeah, LSU beat Florida. So, I mean, you got to kind of compare that as well. But, I mean, down the stretch especially, I mean, especially for the past four weeks, if you're talking, if you're talking recently, this team has been extremely dominant. I mean, they blew out Kentucky 63-3, blew out Auburn 42-13, and these teams are halfway decent teams too. So, I mean, yeah, Alabama has played very dominant all, all season long, and this is a team that's extremely consistent, and they rarely mess up. I mean, and if you look at also over the span of the season, two teams currently in the top 10 were beaten by Alabama at some point this season, including Texas A&M and Georgia, which that Texas A&M game, I'm sure most Alabama fans remember that one because Alabama beat Texas A&M back on October 3rd, 52 to 24 is the final score there. So once again, that just kind of shows how dominant of a team this team is. And there's no sign of letting up now. There's no doubt about that because this team is kind of stuck to the pace. I mean, they've, they've dominated every single opponent and there's no doubt that that's stopping anytime soon. Number three reason is going to be Devontae Smith. Definitely the highest non-quarterback Heisman contender right now. I think he's actually number four on the list of projections. I think he got um, a couple of quarterbacks up there and then he got Devontae Smith. So that's pretty impressive for him to be up there. But he's more than likely the best receiver in the nation right now. I mean, if you look at his stats, he's put up nearly 13, he's put up over 1,300 yards with 16 touchdowns on the season, and he's likely on his way to a 1,500-yard season as far as receiving is concerned. So Devontae Smith is definitely one of the best receivers in the nation, and really it kind of helps to have basically an NFL player. I mean, if you look at Alabama right now, or if you look at Devontae Smith right now, he could have gone to the NFL draft even after the 2019 season. Like, this is a player that could have been drafted pretty early on in the 2020 NFL draft, but he stuck with Alabama, which honestly give him credit for that. Uh, but he's had quite a season with Alabama, and that just raises his draft stock by that much more when you have or when you're having as good of a season as Devontae Smith has been having because he's put up 1,300 yards, 16 touchdowns once again on this season. He's definitely been a huge factor in why Mac Jones has been so good this season as well. Is because when you got as good of a receiver as Devontae Smith is, like that helps all that much. And if he can just stay healthy, like this team is possibly on their way to another national championship because, I mean, that duo with Mac Jones and Devontae Smith is extremely, I mean, it's extremely hard to beat right now. 
And I mean, once again, basically having like this is this is a player that could be an NFL player right now. And Alabama's pretty much got a a high profile NFL player on their team right now. Number four reason is going to be the experience on the Alabama side. And this is a team once again that has won uh, a national championship in five of the past eleven seasons. And that is extremely impressive. I mean, we all know how hard it is to win a national championship in college, let alone Alabama's done it in five of the past 11 years. And this team knows how to win big games. I mean, we've seen that all season long. Like they had that huge game against Georgia back on October 17th. Georgia was ranked third in the nation at the time. Alabama won it 41 to 24. And you also could argue that with the Texas A&M game when Texas A&M was ranked pretty high up there. And they absolutely blew out Texas A&M. And we've seen that against uh, big rival teams like Auburn and LSU a couple of weeks ago. I mean, this is a team that is extremely talented, and this is a team that definitely knows how to win big games, and this is definitely a big game right here. Mac Jones played in big games last season too, so he does have some good experience with that. I mean, if you look at him, he played in the SEC Championship game. Um, or actually, no, he played last season uh, for the end of the season, which was a little bit of a bumpy end of the year. There's no doubt about that. I mean, uh, but Mac Jones is still a player that's extremely talented, and there's no doubt that he can – easily lead a team to a national championship like this season. Like, I think this season, Alabama's definitely the favorite to win one. But you also got to consider, too, Nick Saban is the head coach of Alabama. And Nick Saban has been, I mean, he's been extremely, uh, extremely successful with the Crimson Tide. I mean, he's won some massive, uh, some massive games. He's won several championships, as you can see here. I mean, he's won six SEC championships over his career, including four over the past six seasons. Like, he's won an insane number of championships. He's won five national championships with Alabama over the past decade. I mean, this is a team uh, with Alabama that is so fortunate to have a coach like Nick Saban. I mean, he's, he's easily one of the best coaches of all time. There's no doubt about that. It's just a matter of whether or not he can win a sixth national championship. And there's a good chance that he will be winning his seventh year on Saturday. Because I mean, Alabama, just looking at them, like the, the logical prediction here would, would be to predict Alabama would win this game. Because once again, of how dominant they've been all season long. And honestly, I mean, if you look at if you look at this team in general, like they've definitely got one of the best teams that they've had in recent history. I mean, they've blown out once again every opponent that they've played. And two teams in the top 10 right now, including one of the top five being Texas A&M, Alabama's absolutely blown out. So, yeah, this team is extremely talented, and Nick Saban is just a part of all of that because of how good of a coach he is. But, I mean, if you look at Nick Saban right now, this is definitely, once again, one of the best or one of the most dominant teams that he's ever coached. So, you got to consider that as well. Uh, but in the end, there are some of my five reasons why if Alabama did win the SEC Championship game, how it would happen. Let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game. All of my prediction for Alabama and Florida up, I think, in a few hours as well, possibly either tonight or tomorrow. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, but, yeah, once again, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. Subscribe as well if you're not already yet, as it really helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Once again, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll catch you on the next one.